Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2. We are jumping in again and we are gonna go and select... Oh my god, I don't know what difficulty... There's so many difficulties here that could that we could do. Um, I'm not quite sure what to go for. Enemy crit chances and movement speed seems scary. Um, but I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna play as the Nemesis Commando here. A class that I haven't played as before, but seems really interesting. Um, ooh, wow, he comes through a little portal. He's got this little sword here. We've got uh, a little ability to shoot, which is kind of nice. Um, can recharge that over time. That seems really useful. We've got our dash here, which seems pretty awesome. Um, oh, okay. We can give items to that thing. Interesting. Um, and then on our, our ability, we have the ability to jump up to enemies. We have this gouging effect here, which is, from what it looks like, some sort of stronger bleed effect. Some sort of, like, AoE bleed, maybe. But so far... Seems like an interesting class. The abilities all seem pretty good. I'm curious to see how this guy does with items. Height decrease, secondary cooldown, and get skill upon using it. Nice. But yeah, having having this gun, it's actually one of his secondary skills, like one of the ones you can switch to. Seems really, really useful for uh, taking out airborne enemies and enemies that are a bit too far away. Um, I mean, I really ought to be using the dash as much as possible. I think the dash also gives us a boost to armor whenever we use it, which is really nice. I want to stay up here and try and get the, uh, the crate that's just there. I hear a few little creatures making some noises. There's a big crate over there as well. Where are you? Oh, bugger, I fell. Okay, there's two big crates. Let's just, let's just get these first. So if we do this... Okay, that does like two slices. Apparently that scales with attack speed though. Oh god, these guys are kind of tough. Okay. Stay in the healing aura here. I think I, sh I think I accidentally destroyed the healing aura. Whoops. This guy might be a little tricky to start off with, to be honest. It seems like it's a little bit harder, but I think that's also due to the enemy speed that we're having trouble. I think I need to be rolling more often as well here. That's really nice. Wow, okay. We have to be paying attention to that more often. Increased damage is honestly fantastic for us right now. Okay, yeah, we want to be using that way more often. It does take a while to recharge the R ability. What? Like, that gun is super nice. Yeah, attack speed seems like it's going to be a huge thing for us here. We need as much attack speed as we can get. I think I hear a dude over here. No? Oh, maybe he's above us. Grab this as well. Hey, that's really nice. I love ATG Missile Launcher. And we know there's a chest up here. That's, again, going to be another way for us to do really well at killing enemies at a distance. Um, ATG Missile Launcher will just deal with that for us. So far, so good on this guy, though. I think we want to be using the gun mainly as our main form of attack until things get in close, and then we start using our other abilities. The thing is, it does take a while to recharge all the shots we're using back to back to back. Right. Okay, that didn't really work. I didn't get close enough. Not a big fan of fighting this guy the way that I'm fighting him right now, because my HP is not good enough to do that, but there you go. Grab that. Um, extra instance of damage on hit upgrades at level 17. Okay. Upgrades sound good. I wonder if the extra instance of damage counts for the bleed effect as well. That'd be nice. Attack speed is really good for our, our ability, because as I said, that scales the amount of swipes with attack speed. We do have a 3D printer for something there, but I'm probably not going to take that for now. Detonate on jump is actually pretty good for this guy. We're going to be up close and personal with things pretty much all the time, so... I reckon that'll get a bit of use. There's another chest over here, look. And I think once we've got that chest, we're probably good to go from this stage. Oh, another one here. Oh, I almost fell off there. That's close. That's really nice. We needed a bit of sustain. Oh, this is a big chest. Okay. That's good to know. 
Yeah, that extra instance of damage is proving to be pretty good. Yeah, it works on the bleed too. Okay, that's really, really good. That increases our damage with our bleed a lot. And then drop a poison mine when taking heavy damage. That's decent enough. Okay, I don't think there's much else we can get here, but a healing drone is certainly something I want. Okay, yeah, we our, our damage has improved drastically here. This is really, really good. Okay, I think we've got just about everything we can here. I guess we can play this chance uh, shrine a little bit. See if we can get anything good out of it. What we need next really is movement speed. Oh, that's beautiful copying items. 44. There you go. Drones are equipped with explosive weaponry. Okay, we need to make sure we're buying drones whenever we can. Right. Let's go spawn the boss in and see what we can do. I don't know how easy the boss is going to be, especially if it's Wandering Vagrant. <laughs> I don't know if we if we get sticky to the enemy. Um... Holy sugar tits. I just took a lot of damage. Honestly, peel away a little bit and let my drone heal me a little bit. Beam. That all needs to go. Basically, I'm coming up here because I might be able to get on top of him. Okay, nah, he's, he's not going to fall for it, unfortunately. Honestly, our burst damage is insane, though. We do need to be very careful with the amount of damage we're taking, obviously. But yeah, our potential for burst damage is pretty insane. Right. Let's get out of here. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about how difficult it's going to be to hit Wandering Vagrant, uh, just because we can't really dash up to him very easily. Where are you? There you are. Honestly, the bullets do a ton of damage. I think when you're playing as a melee character, it does tend to sit a little lower, just so you've got something you can do. Oh god. This is going to be really bad. I think I'm going to die. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Still, though, really, really good first try as this guy with this difficulty. I'm going to stick with this difficulty. I'm honestly enjoying the, uh, enjoying how hard it is. Um, <clears throat> and now that we know, I really love that intro there. Now that we know a little bit more about the character, it shouldn't be as bad. We get a void item off the bat here as well, which is awesome. It's always good when you start near one of these, because the 50% the minus HP doesn't matter as much if you start next to it. Um, game region for missing health when in danger. Yeah, that's really nice. Really, really nice. I think one of those slugs did manage to fall. Which certainly is a bit scary. We've also got a Luna pod down there as well. Two chests off the bat here. Lovely. And elite mobs have a chance to drop items this early. Only having one of them isn't great, but this early that should pay out a few times, I'd hear. Nice. Chance to um, burn and gain gold on hit. That's pretty nice. Anything that's going to give us more money, I'm, I'm pretty down for. A Luna coin just dropped off the face of the earth there. Right, I think I think our key thing here is we need to be faster. We need to be much, much quicker. Let's do our scouting. We've got a chance shrine here. I'll, I'll go for one. Ah, unfortunate. Okay, using the gun while, like, swiping is a good tactic for dealing a bit more damage. Quite a lot of money from that guy as well. Another void pod. Wasn't expecting that. A little risky here, but... Deal more damage, um... Deal more damage when given to time to plot. 
I'm guessing that means the longer we go without damaging things, the more damage we do or something. Okay, nice. Good. Charge up a movement speed boost while not sprinting. Interesting. Oh, that's pretty nice. I like that. The one we're attacking things. We got a nice little movement speed boost going. And we can see our little mustache thing is activated now in the bottom left there, look. So, oh, I see it's changing colour as well. I'm guessing that, that, that refers to how much damage we're going to get out of it. It goes red. Okay, so we get a little bit of a burst of damage. That's really nice. Lunar Pod will check out. That's not something I want to take. That that is a fun item, but it's very risky. Alright, let's quickly just check up here. Ain't nothing up here. We're taking a bit too long here, to be honest, but I want to check down here as well. I don't want to leave too much unsearched. But honestly, not looking great. Oh, look at that. Oh, the burning plus the gold thing. That's incredible. That's, that's really good uh, in combination with one another. Okay, we're going to have to get going now. I need something to recharge my movement ability faster, because at the minute, my movement ability isn't that good. Like, it's useful, but it's like, cooldown's pretty slow. I can use the uh, R ability to move as well, I believe. I can... Dash. Ah, oh, that's only a short dash, actually. It's not really worth doing. I thought it was a bit longer of a dash than that. I'm hoping for at least two or three crates around here. I think I already see two extra health. I like that. Um, deal more damage to persistent combatants. Uh, that's super, super useful. Awesome. And then the teleport is just here. No wandering vagrant this time. Fuck sake. <laughs> the, the thing is as well, the dash is only uh, like yeah, I can't dash upwards with this guy. Also, someone's healing this thing like crazy. Holy shit, okay. We just need to we just need to not get the Wandering Vagrant. It's it's basically impossible to fight the Wandering Vagrant. Let's look at our loadout again. Um, we can do a piercing beam. That's four seconds cooldown. And then this one, we can charge up and fire a barrage of six blasts. Let's try the default skills and see if we do any better. But yeah, Wandering Vagrant, unfortunately, is kind of out of the question for this guy until you get movement because yeah you can't dash upwards you can only dash sideways uh which is a real pain okay, we've got two chests here already in fact let's go over and uh do this shall we oh that's actually pretty good i don't okay so that so we with this one we can go charge and then hit oh nice okay i like that i like that a lot I think that's actually better. Tri-tip is very good with this guy. Kind of stacks on top of our existing bleed ability. I really like that. I think that's got piercing as well. And then our, our ability here. Not as good as the other one, I don't think. It's less AoE, but... I really like that. Oh, we can charge it, though. I, I didn't... Oh, okay, okay. That's a lot better. Standing still. Oh, that's not very good. This character we're basically never going to stand still. Okay, I like that a lot. Dude, I am getting wrecked. It's just too many flying enemies. This guy doesn't have enough ways to deal with flying enemies. Like, obviously the mouse 2 is really good, but... Kind of hard to hit things with it. I'll be honest. We don't have anywhere near as much healing this time either. Oh, I see some good stuff up there. Yeah, I just, I just wish he could dash upwards. That would make this character so much more viable. 
I've only been able to dash um, on like the um, horizontal axis is is very limiting. The fact that Pierce is really really good. I think with this ability we need to try and get us up close and personal as we can with it. Honestly, look at this. We're, we're almost dead already. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, let's let's lower the difficulty. We're obviously not going to get anywhere with this so far. Um. Yeah, let's go with that. With the monster spawns and difficulty scaling. Try that out. I like playing on the harder difficulties. Don't get me wrong. Got down, I'm getting pummeled right now. Um, chest over there already, nice. I think I do like the um I think I do like the thingy ability um secondary ability more than the the shot that I think that's really good but I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one like it does a lot of damage but it doesn't have quite the same AoE effect also as well like this that slice is really good but it's not quite as good at taking out ranged targets as the other one a lot of ups and downs. But that's good though. That's exactly how the ability should be. Deal more damage. That's perfect to get early on. I think we just need to hold our ground here and wait this out. Wait for more enemies to spawn. We do have the increased enemy spawns, so hopefully some more spawn. We've got quite a lot of chests to go out. We've got one, two, three already that we can see. Four. Um, we've got a 3D printer. By the way... Is there a mod that makes these, like, worth it? Because <laughs> them little pods give you fucking nothing. They give you, like, ten coins. It's like, what is the point, really? I keep forgetting that I need to charge the abilities as well. That doesn't help. There's a little shock dude over there. Okay, let's grab this. Critical Strikes heal us, that is marvellous. Oh my god, that's such a fun ability. Oh, that was a good crit. Release a 13 meter barrier effect for all allies in teleporter events. Uh, multiplies barrier. Ooh, that's pretty good. Right, we can grab this now. Maximum HP is rather nice. The fact that that pierces can make it so good. I can't fucking see that guy. God damn, the elites just kick my ass. We really do. We need a lot more sustain. If we can get some crit glasses, that'd be really good. That's really nice. Right, where's the teleporter then? We haven't actually seen it yet, have we? Just over here somewhere by the looks of it. Oh my god. That is very risky. I don't think I want to take that. Yeah. A big chest here. It's still pretty good even if you don't full charge it as well, that. Nice. Almost enough for this. Oh god, there's an icy boy. How good is this at range? It's decent, it's not amazing. That slowing effect is going to be a bitch, isn't it? Get the fire bands, that's pretty good. I don't know how often they'll proc. Dude, that fucking ice boy. It's gonna be the death of us. Let's get out of here. 
another crate over there. Activate him, actually. Let's grab that. Oh, unfortunately, an absolutely dog shit active, in my opinion. I don't think I've ever been able to successfully use this thing. Nice. Oh, my God. Enemy... Uh, characters that just don't have the ability to hit ranged enemies. So frustrating sometimes. Yeah, like, they do have... Like, obviously, this character does have the ability. Oh, that's really nice. This character obviously does have the ability, but it's just so limited. That extra health regen for the next 20 minutes is super good early on. Receive flat damage reduction is also really nice. What in the absolute flippity fuck just did, did that damage to me? Oh my god. I'm so fucked here, aren't I? Oh, I tried to hit the healing orb and I missed it. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Right, get out of here. Get out of here. Let us, let us all heal up. Just look like... That's so useless. So useless. I let my health regen do its thing for a bit. I don't know what that hit me so hard. I think he managed to like get one of those poison attacks on me really early. Oh god, they've all followed me in here. I mean, I kind of knew they were going to follow me in, but like, they've arrived a lot quicker than I would have expected. Now that, that's something I can get behind. Fuck off with the electricity, you pricks! Okay, back to fighting the boss. Ow. He's got so many beetle guards now. That is going to be a bit rough. The fire is super, super necessary right now. Who the fuck just made me miss all of that? Very annoyed at you. The healing teleporter event thing is very much not good. It's not awful, but it's not great. Right, let's hide away for a bit here. Can someone shoot me with some sort of shotgun ability that I do not like? I think it's just all of you. Let me in there. Oh my goodness. We have escaped. Holy shit, that was difficult. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Got through the first level. 81 for a crate right here. Difficulty scaling's going crazy. I hear a big boy somewhere about. Oh, that's one of them. There's a, there's a one there. Honestly, that's so good for proccing crits to heal us. Where, are, where the hell do you go? There you are. And of course, I completely fucking missed. Right. Grab the extra health regen. Good now remembering what some of the items do, that's helping. Oh, that's cool. I really love that ability. It may be a bit useless at times, but goddamn, it's cool. Look at that. I wish it did even more damage. They don't seem to want to explode while they're bleeding, which is rather nice to know. The crit. Teleporters over here, might as well go and touch it just so we know. 
There it is, there you go. I see a void pod thing over here. I'll go and get that. Void items are my favourite. Chance to root enemies on hit. That could be really good, actually. There we go. Oh, got it. It just jumps into another enemy. Fuck. Got him. I don't know where the other ones escaped, to, I'll be honest. Another active over there. Honestly, yes. I definitely want another active because this one is stinky poo poo. Increased damage and attack. Oh, that is perfect. Damage and attack speed increase for 11 seconds sounds a okay to me. Why, why is it always the healing ones that get together? I don't even know why I just picked up there. Bulwark drone. I don't know what a bulwark drone does, I'll be honest. I'm hoping I can root enemies fairly off much health. He didn't die. What the heck? Right, what else we got over here? Another sh We've got so many chan shrines on this stage. Really want those. Turret there. Finally, an actual chest. That's actually not terrible because we're going to be kill uh, up close with enemies. That is critical strikes market enemies. Ooh, that is very nice if we can get some more crit. Lower health enemies receive damage over time. That's also pretty useful. Oh, that is finally a little bit of movement. That's so good. Okay, that is really, really nice. Hey, we rooted him. Doesn't root him for long. I thought it rooted him for longer than that. Right, I think we started down here and there was a chest down here, wasn't there? Yeah, the wax quail is going to allow us to jump around a little bit. Where the, where the hell was it that we started? Might be feather up this way. Oh, no, here it is. There's that thing we were looking for. Lovely. I think we're pretty much good to go to the teleporter event now. Still don't have an amazing build for this guy set out, but it's good enough. Let's use the chance shrine while it's there. Gasoline's lovely. I'll take it. Another one over there as well, look. Right, boss time. For fuck's sake. This guy again. He is hittable, but he's a bit of a pain in the ass to hit. Oh god, I just absolutely wasted that ability as well. Bollocks. Actually get out of the way of this for once this time. There you go. We got him. Fuel cell could be really good. I don't know what's going on with this tower thing on top of my synergy. Oh, bloody hell, that's just out, really. You know what I'm gonna go do? I have a lot of money with me. Well, I can't even jump up this thing, God damn it! I need to wait until this is, this is over, anyways. Okay. Right. Pop 
that. Go do this one. Because we've got so much money to spend. I realise it gets converted into XP otherwise, but we don't desperately need XP. Active item. Nah. And whatever this is. Ability to bunny hop, increasing air control, pair stack. Okay, that's pretty good. Honestly, that's really nice. We can, like, keep jumping, keep jumping, and just gain lots and lots of speed to move around. Yeah. Let's see how this bunny hopping works. I think it just combos really well with the Wax Quail as well. Also, this is interesting. One of them managed to bugger off somewhere else. Um, chance to duplicate over time inflictions. Okay, damage over time infliction duplication is... An interesting idea. I like that. Can't afford it yet. 179. Okay. Let's take random here. Personal shield generator. Not terrible. Not great. This over here. Crit glasses, yes, please. That's super good for us. Honestly, this movement speed's awesome as well. Will that hit? Nah, I didn't think it would. I had to try it though. Crit glasses are huge for us, we need more of those. Honestly, this duplication of damage over time effect seems to be working well as well. Nice. Keep it moving. Oh, this bunny hopping thing is sick. Gain so much speed. One of these, lovely. That is flat damage. That's that's attack speed and move speed, though, I think. Yeah. I really want attack speed and move speed. Oh my god, look at that. That bunny hopping. That's with one of them as well. Hey, yes, got another one of these. That's really good. That's proving to be very helpful. Yes! <laughs> I wanted this chest, and I thought if I build up enough bunny hop speed, I could make it over there, and I did. And gold over time isn't that useful, but there you go. Oh my god. It's very easy to just careen off the edge of something, though. Still didn't open this, apparently. I didn't realise. More gasoline's lovely. Any AOE we can get, I'm very happy about. Oh my god. Right. Let's get gone up top. Another one of these bad boys. Don't know what any of those do. Oh god. Nash Dom's approaching. Holy shit, okay. Our damage has skyrocketed. Holy shit, we got another one of these. Gimme, gimme. Take large. Taking large damage increases movement speed. Oh, that's good. Oh, 
Got one of these gunner dudes. I'm sure I ignore you for now. I'm in pursuit of more items. Do you have that for me? No. <laughs> Not really. Right. Gonna go over here real quick. Uh, there's, a, there's a chest over here, actually. Nice. And let's uh, kill a bunch of stuff. Holy shit, dude. That's not fair. There's another chest there that I didn't see. That's actually not bad, being able to stun enemies. Right, activate teleporter event. Imp Overlord is kind of a hard one for melee characters to remember correctly. Yeah, because he just stacks bleed like crazy. Oh god. He... <laughs> okay then. I guess, yeah, he is pretty difficult. Oh, the Great Wisp got me. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. I enjoy these harder difficulties. They're, they're entertaining. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.